leaving the EU has long been hailed as key to reinvigorating the UK's ailing fishing industry by Brexiteers. But since the transition period ended in January, fishermen on all sides have vocally voiced their displeasure at the current state of play. Now it has emerged that £31.8 million worth of extra fish promised by the government don't exist. The cash boost should have come from a big rise in the quotas of sole and plice that UK fishermen can net. But James White, 38, a fisherman from Felixstowe, told the Sunday Mirror, they can increase the quota a hundredfold and we won't be able to catch more. These fish don't exist. Under the Brexit withdrawal agreement the government claimed that £146 million worth of the fishing quota was taken back from the EU. Last month Fisheries Minister Victoria Prentice confirmed the government valued the 2021 post-Brexit North Sea sole quota boost at £13 million, and £18.8 .8 million for Plyce. But industry expert Terry Portman, who advised MPs after Brexit, said, the valuation is codswallop. Fishermen have been stitched up. Marine management organisation data shows UK fishermen have caught far under North Sea sole and plice quotas since 2016. Experts claim this means that the data the deal was negotiated on is likely flawed. Even the powerful Dutch fishing fleet is unable to catch its quota, they said. The amount of North Sea sole UK fishermen can catch is up by 43%. But Mr White said, the only reason the EU has given us any quota is because they can't catch it themselves. In stark contrast the increases in quotas for healthy stocks are tiny. The cod quota in the Western English Channel will rise 1%, with EU trawlers bagging 90% of fishing rights for five years. Quotas are negotiated by governments, based on estimates of fish stocks by scientists, to stop overfishing. Rodney Anderson, former DEFRA director of fisheries, warned of an ecological disaster, adding, nobody in charge asked themselves, suppose the science is wrong. Conservative MP Peter Aldous said, if we proceed in this way it will lead to chronic overfishing. Shadow Environment Secretary Luke Pollard said, these fish exist only on spreadsheets as paper fish. DEFRA said negotiations are based on the best available scientific advice, adding that the £146 million figure was calculated differently to the £31.8 million figure. Express.co.uk has contacted the government for comment.